we're here for um, for David's story today. Yes. And obviously, it was uh, one of the films which you were at the helm of, of yes. when he had his accident. Yes. Everything. Um, I mean, just if we can, to look back, what were your memories from that time? It was very, um, yeah, I remember the day very well. It was, there were, there were multiple units as there always were. So those days are packed full of things. Everyone's working in their own zones. So the stunt department, the visual effects department, the model unit, the main unit. And so I got the message fed through to me that there'd been an accident. And, um, and then slowly you start to get more and more information coming through. And I mean, you know, a film production, as you know, is a, it's a sort of machine that keeps turning. And so um, we got all the help we could to Davy, and Davy was taken to hospital. And you just you, you just have to keep going because there were many sort of la layers to the production, um, but it affected everybody, I think, um, especially Greg, who was there for that particular stunt, and everyone who knew Davy and particularly Daniel so it was and things changed after that there was a big shift in how that gag or that stunt was performed it was a massive learning process for everybody involved and uh, and rather worryingly we'd been doing that particular stunt particular stunt with other act, with actors as well as stunt people so it's but for the grace of God you know um, but it was it was a very um, it was a very distressing day, but we, we pushed on with a lot of the work that day, knowing that in one of our departments, in one section of this big factory machine of making this big movie, this, this event had happened. And finally for me, I did hear you say that uh, you're a bit Harry Potter out and therefore may not be involved in uh, the upcoming HBO series. Would you give your two cents if you're asked for it? Are you happy to contribute if anyone can a director goes to you? Like, how do you do it? Do you know the most important thing is to interpret those books in the way that you feel is right for now and that's the great thing about those stories they, they feel universal in whatever culture these films and these books land in people get it and so the thing is to just honor your your own vision for them and and stay true to that and the one big piece of advice I would have was when we were making them it was quite challenging for a young cast to be guided through that process and we were very lucky we had a great publicity coordinator called Vanessa and David Heyman producing and and it, there was a sort of firewall around them to sort of protect them really we didn't have social media then in the way that we have it now and so now my one big bit of advice in terms of and I know they'll do this without question um, is to sort of protect them from all the kind of everyone will have a view and a perspective and it seems to me since we finished the films 10 years ago the kind of public discourse and the sort of people offering opinions about things has somehow become much more uh, I don't know confrontational and aggressive and we when we were making it with our young cast we didn't have that degree of um, interrogation or sort of and that that's the only thing that I would be wary of is to protect that group and help them through that process because there'll be a lot of stuff coming at them and they need to be protected. Um.